guys, and welcome back to Deidre Gamer's Pokemon Crystal Let's Play. In the last episode, we took on the power plant and got that up and running again, and we also took on uh, Misty. So in this episode, I want to do a few things. Um, I didn't get the moves like I said I was going to do, but I think we should be fine for now. Uh, I do want to beat... I want to beat... Erica, Janine, and Brock in this episode, as well as grabbing. Uh, where am I going? Uh, as well as grabbing the uh, Magnet Train card, so we can go back to Joe O whenever we want, and get in the. Uh, well, I think I have to get the. Uh, Pokey, the Kanto radio card. I don't think I've got a choice in that. I think I have to get that. Uh, so, what we're going to do is, first, we are going to go and beat up Erica. We are now in Celadon City. I do believe that you still need Cut to get to her. So, we're going to put away someone that we're not going to really use in this battle, which would probably be... Leviathan, because he's he's not weak to grass, but uh, he's not going to be doing a whole lot. And we'll get uh, Shroom again. I can't remember if they do get rid of uh, got rid of the cut bush, but we'll see. But we won't be using uh, Leviathan that much in the gym. I mean, he does have icy wind, but that's about it. Do we still need cut? Yes, we do still need cut. Okay. So we got a few things we need to do then. <clears throat> right, okay, so let's get on with it. Who's at the front? Is it Pyro? It is actually Pyro. Okay, that's fine. He should be fine in here. We'll show you Pokemon moves that are Erica taught us. And we should get, for doing this, we should get Giga Drain. There, Giga Drain. I like just these little two little kids who just got a victory bell. Which, um, we will be giving to Gengar, so that'll be his moveset done. I've written all the moves down and stuff and what I want to get and how to get it. And some of them are actually really annoying, and I was just like, oh, okay, well, that's great. Alright, okay, so they've just got Victory Bell and Vile Plume. So we should be absolutely fine in this gym. I don't see why we'll have any sort of problem. We've got Pyro, and if Pyro goes down, then we have... Skarmory. Skarmory won't go down because he four times resists grass. And, he res and he's immune to poison. Oh, we lost. Uh-huh, you did. Oh, a battle, that's kind of scary, but okay. Okay, I am recording. Just making sure I was recording then. It's always good when you start and you're like, Did I set it to record? An executor? Not a lowly executor. Just a normal one. So like I said in the last episode, I plan on... <clears throat> finishing it within a few parts. So, this episode will be dedicated to defeating Brock, Erica, and Janine. And then the next episode will be Blaine and Blue. And then the final episode will be Suicune and Red. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Just got a few traders to get through. Um, I'm thinking of doing it in the last episode as well, just doing a couple little side bits and things too. Or I might do those in the next episode, because in this episode we're pretty much 
chock full of stuff to do. We haven't really got much uh, time to do side stuff. With wanting to defeat th three gym leaders. But we do t technically have some side stuff to do in this one. Um, I just won't be able to do as many of the trainers and stuff. I think that when I first played Gold and Silver, this was the first... Oh, played Silver, this was like the first time I realised that Jump Bluff was a thing. Like, I didn't know that Jump Bluff existed. I was like, oh wow, that's super cool. I didn't realise it was a three evolution family. Or two evolution family. It's a shame that uh, Jump Bluff's not the best of Pokemon. It's good for, like, utility. It's uh, just not good for like being on your team for much in-game. It's better in like Gen 5 and stuff because it gets acrobatics. Oh, blah! Okay, let's get rid of Paralyze on Pyro. I thought it was more traders than that, actually. Were you looking at these flowers or me? Okay, Paris. I believe, like, as awesome as it was putting Kanto in gold, silver, and crystal, the problem with it was that there was no, there was hardly anything in there. That it was just like they put it in at the last minute, and I'm glad they did. So you could do all this post-game stuff, but it's at the same time it's just like there's no Safari Zone. There's I think Viridian. There's no Viridian Forest. It's just a path, and um, there's no. I don't think there's a Sea Foam Island either. A proper Sea Foam Island? Where is there? There might be, but none of the legendaries are in it. There's no Articuno, no Zapdos, no Moltres, no Mewtwo. I don't think you can go into Cerulean Cave. That's a weird animation, I forgot about that. Okay, so that was the gym trainers done. They're down. Real, real quick. <laughs> just because Pyro's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna play real everything. How annoying. And now, for Erica herself. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I may doze off. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. Oh, all the way from Jodu, you say? How nice! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. We've got the awesome remix again. We should be fine in this gym. I, like, there's nothing that we can't really do in this gym. I mean, Gengar can come in as well. Like, all of the Pokemon that I have on my team can come in and do some serious damage. They all have at least one move that's super effective against uh, Grass. In some form. Like, Galva Galvanite has Fire Punch. If it had Levita with me, he's got Icy Wind. Skarmory's. Uh, Moramas has got uh, Fly. Blossom. You know what? I'm going to switch. We're going to switch to. Richard. Just to give him some more love. I mean, like. Pyro's just, like, swept through that gym pretty much on his own. We've got Ice Punch. Is Vardar actually kill? No, nowhere near. Petal Dance. <laughs> that actually did a lot of damage. This might not kill either. Nope. She's gonna heal that. At least it'll get Richard, if Richard survives, it'll get him onto level 45. Yeah, I thought you should use this. Oh, 
potions. The uh, hyper potion. I can't remember what the last Pokemon is. It might be uh File Plume. File Plume on Victory Bell. That was a crit, yeah. And then we should be fast enough to take it out. There we go. Awesome. It's got such good attack power. Just not, uh, yeah, it's Victory Bell. Okay. Um, so we're going to go for... We're going to go for Muramasa. I mean, Victory Bell can't do anything to it. Unfortunately, the only real move we have to deal with it is Fly. I could do, could do Solar Beam, I guess. But even then, that's not going to do anything. We four times resist Solar Beam. We four times resist that. Awesome. Susie's return. Okay, she wasted our Hyper Potion, so. <laughs> awesome. I can see defeat. You are miraculously strong. I shall give you the rainbow badge. They always miss out words. I shall give you rainbow badge. Not the rainbow badge. That was a delightful match. I felt inspired. Please, I wish you to have this TM. It is, it is Giga Drain. It is a wonderful move that drains half the damage it inflicts to heal your Pokemon. Please use it if you please with you. What? <laughs> Losing leaves a bitter aftertaste. But knowing that there are strong trainers spurs me on to do better. Okay. So, where are our TMs? We want to give this to Gengar. Get rid of Hypnosis. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so that's Gym 1 down out of 3. We could go and have a look around Celadon and stuff, and there's not a lot here, unfortunately. Like, uh, what's in here? They're just having an eating contest, I think. They're holding an eating contest at the restaurant. Just watching them go, go ahead makes me feel bloated. Um, I believe there's... Grime is in there. I can't remember if that was Golden, uh, Heart, uh, bleh, Red and Blue, or Golden Silver. I think it's Golden Silver. Uh, what prizes can we get from here? Welcome, exchange coin of other five prizes. What prizes do you want? Okay, so we've got TMs there, and then we've got we've got Pokemon here. Larvitar, Pikachu, and Porygon. So that's probably the easy, the earliest you can get Larvitar. Usually Larvitar is only available at um, Mount Silver, right at the end of the game. Okay, so let's go and get... Uh... I mean, for now, I do believe that we might need Shroom again to get through Diglett Cave. But we do need Leviathan. Leviathan is our, our buddy. Our sixth member of the team, so we do need Leviathan. And we're gonna go. Uh, first of all, we're gonna go heal, because it didn't heal. Thank you. Okay. We're gonna go. Down the bicycle path. Or the bicycle road. We might find a few trainers on the way, but we're not gonna try and fight all of them. Um, there's nothing in Celadon Mart worth. really worth getting. I mean, I could go get in and get some repels. Um, you don't get TMs from the roof anymore, and you don't get... You can't buy stones here anymore, for whatever reason. Uh, we can buy some Max Repels. Let's buy... Because we're going to need them. Now, I believe there's a Pokemon... On... Oh, there's a lot of Johto Pokemon in Kanto that you can't get in Johto. In the grass over there, you can get Murkrow and Houndour at night. And then over here, I believe...
I believe this is the only place you can get Slugma, for whatever reason. I might be wrong on that. No, yeah, Slugma. That's a pretty cool animation, actually. Right, the person... The person. The Pokemon that I'm going to probably be using a lot in the next gym, that's probably either going to be Richard and Muramasa. So they're going to start in the next gym. There's no trainers on here. What? Oh, there's one. <laughs> I thought there was trainers all the way down it. We're fearless. Highway stars. That might have been Fire Red and Leaf Green. Or oh, they might have been Heart Gold Soul Silver. They might have edited it in Heart Gold Soul Silver. Oh, don't forget, guys, you can follow me on all my social medias. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter, all under the Idra Gamer. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch. On tw Twitch and YouTube, I'm live streaming Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized Nuzlocke, and on and I'm also doing obviously Crystal. I'm going to do doing Leaf Green. I'm doing the Platinum versus. But that's been put on hold for a little bit, just so I can get um, the others out of the way. Um, we'll also be doing some other new games soon as well. I just want to get my backlog out of the way. Get it all finished. And we're also doing Star Ocean Second Evolution as well. So you just keep an eye out. And any donations get hugely appreciated, guys. So thank you very much for anyone who does donate. At the moment, we're, we're aiming for getting a... HD capture card so I can do some recording of my PS4 through OBS and live streaming through OBS rather than using the PlayStation's feature to be able to do it so I can have my own layouts and everything. Ah, crash and burn! Mum's wasted our money. Hi, Clicks, how are you? While shopping today, I saw this adorable doll, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, it's in your room. You'll love it. That's one thing I did like about the original gold, silver, and crystal. Um, she did buy Pokemon dolls, which is cool. Um, are you a trainer? Yeah, he is a trainer. Second grow is a quick shortcut to sell it on. All right, thank you for the information. Noctowl, that's a cool animation for Noctowl. Let's get an icy win on the go. Just get rid of uh, Knocks out as quickly as possible. See, it doesn't do as much damage. Wait, it's only got Peck. Should have just done Surf. It would have been fine. Okay, so that's uh, Bird Keeper Bob down. Bird Keeper Bob. Yeah. There's another guy here. Should we just beat him up as well? If you're looking for Pokemon, you have to look in the tall grass. Is he another bird keeper? I don't even know. Yeah, he is. He's got three Pokemon. That's fine. Dodo. -do Alright, uh, let's get Waterfall on the go. I'm going to speed this up just to get rid of it. There we go. Okay, cool. Just because that's... A <laughs> we've got a few things to do, so... Like, we've gone to Future City, like, there's no Pokemon around. There's no Safari Zone. Future City, build up... Passions of Pink. Uh, there's no one in here, either. There's no Safari Zone, right? And which in Hargon, so you find out that it's moved to Johto. It's not a new route. Awesome, let's go heal then. Now in this gym, what we have to do is we have to find the real Janine, who is Koga's daughter, as we know that Koga, uh, is it daughter? Yeah, Koga's daughter, because as we know, Koga is now an Elite Four member, so he's not around. We could also use uh, Gengar here as well. 
Uh, but I believe Muramasa is who we should be using. So we have to just find the real Janine. Uh, who I believe is the one on the left there. I feel like you <laughs> So we haven't got anything super effective against these, but they can't do anything to Muramasa. Oh, we've got something super effective against that. That's actually kind of cool though, they've got a Bulbasaur in here. I didn't mean to use Return, I meant to use Fly, but it's fine. We should get uh, Toxic for him as well. See, so he's doing better now with... Uh, with Return. He's doing more damage. Oh yeah, I guess she's got the whole Venusaur family, which is pretty cool. Or Bulbasaur family, I should say. Is I going to take it out? No, but it's fine. Razor Leaf's not going to do anything. Three damage, cool. Let's get a Swift on it. Awesome, and then Venusaur, I guess. Yep, surprise. <laughs> That's a cool animation! Like, I, like the way they got the flower to move and everything, and all the leaves to move. Sorry, my headphones are falling off then. Well, Venus was pretty bulky, so... But, it doesn't resist fly. Excellent. So I'm just trying to adjust my mic a little bit more, because I keep seeing it in the corner of my eye, and I shouldn't be able to see it that much. Oh! Alas, you're not weak at all! Okay. So I believe, I do think that the one over on the left there, this one's not Janine either. I'm Janine! How did you know I was real? Let's battle! What? She's not Janine. She's lying. There we go. So there we go. That should be fine then. Need a queen. Okay, let's just get a return on it. More of Master should just clean up in this gym, honestly. He shouldn't have any issues with this gym at all. The only thing I am worried about is obviously explosion, but even then he resists that. That should be fine then, that should be that de dealt with. Awesome. Level 44, cool. Because the he's he is all lowest level Pokemon. Or was a lowest level Pokemon. Now he's, uh, darn it, I wanted to win. He Now he's tied with Leviathan. Okay, I believe it's her. I believe that's Janine. Because you'd think it'd be this one, but it's not. <laughs> I'm Janine, the gym leader. No, I'm not. Gotcha, sucker. Oh, well, wasn't. Okay, we got Gloom. That's pretty creepy. So what we have to do, once we've done Janine, what you do is you go to... You can go anywhere you want, really. You can either go through Rock Tunnel and... down to Lavender, or you can go to... You can go east of... Um, Future City and go and head up north towards Lavender because you need to get the um, Kanto Radio card. And the only way you can get the Kanto Radio card is if you do the Power Plant out oh, that did actually hurt. <laughs> Speaking of Screech, uh, ca uh, the Kanto Power Plant first. So there's lots of little side quests you can do to get it all up and running again, which is really cool. There's just a lot of things missing. You can't even explore the radio tower but because that's stuck because of the story point in. Golden Rod. So let's take out this uh, Gloom. Okay, there we go. I will be speeding up a little bit, so I'm not going to try and speed it up as much as I used to and stuff. I had you fooled! We are going to go straight to Janine, though, because we haven't got much. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking. I'm the real deal. Janine of Future Gym, that's me. 
because we need to get all the way to Lavender Town. There is a lot of traders in the way on that. She's got five Pokemon, wow. Crobat, okay, that's kind of scary. Not for Muramasa, it's just that uh, it could start doing double team, and double team's annoying. It shouldn't have a lot of defense, though. It should. Uh, it's alright, I guess. Confused, right? Okay. If we can get her to waste her um, hyper potion on this, that'd be great. She didn't, that's fine. Level 36? Why is it level 36? Murray Master's confused. Murray Master's got a hint of confusion. Oh, he didn't! Wow! Awesome! Wheezing. Uh, I am gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to Spectre. We're going to blast it with a bit of Psychic. Are you those? We're going to go back to Muramasa. It's actually really creepy, like, I never realised like, how a creepy looking Ariados is, until like, looking at this sprite, that's a pretty creepy sprite of it. And she's got another Weezing. So we're gonna go for Richard this time. Because the thing is, they, like, their abilities aren't in the game yet. So Weezing doesn't have Levitate and it's weak to Earthquake. I always get mixed up. I know Weezing and Mock are basically counterparts, and Weezing's either got really good special defense and low defense, which I think it does, and Mock's got the opposite, but I always get mixed up which has got what. And then, who is our last Pokemon? Venomoth, okay. That's pretty random. Um, is that not Poison? Yeah, it is. Bug Poison, yeah? At least it's not, um... It's one thing I didn't get in... Die here, okay, she should be rather using a die here. One thing I didn't get in, um... The original Red and Blue and Fire Red and Leaf Green was why Sabrina had a Venomoth, just because it had Psybeam, when there was so many other Psyche Pokemon she could have had. And then in this gym you found Drowsies and Hypnos, because they could learn Poison Gas. You're a tough one! You def definitely won! Here's Soul Badge, take it! Yes! So two down. One to go. You're tough! I have a special gift for you. It's toxic, a powerful poison that steadily saps the victim's HP. I'm going to really apply myself and improve my skills. I want to become better than both father and you. Okay, so let's give... That to... Muramasa. I think most of, if not all of them, will be able to learn that. Yeah, where's Muramasa? There he is at the top. Okay. Do you wanna... Yes. We're gonna get rid of Agility for it. And then at level 49, I believe it is, he learns... Steel Wing. I remember when I was younger, I used to get super confused by that. Like, the walls here. Because you couldn't really see it on my little tiny... Game Boy Color screen. Awesome. So we're gonna head off to Lavender Town now. There are a few traders along here, I believe, but we're gonna. Hang on, I have my phone, my mom. We're going to try not beat up all, all of them. We're going to beat up a couple, just to get us some experience and get our last two Pokemon up to level 45. Wow, okay. Yeah, 
has to have four Pokemon. <laughs> See, like, what I mean about the levels, though, in this game, and they're, they're really low. Like, there should be really high levels here, and they're not. Um, Magnemite, okay. Level 27. Awesome, okay. Um, hold on, I'm just gonna speed through this battle because it's gonna take a long time. We've got a Magneton, okay, cool. Thank you. Right, okay, so we're just gonna go. See, like, you can't avoid all of them, but it's fine. Have you forgotten anything? I think there's a random trainer here, actually. Uh, not a trainer. Oh my god, that's creepy. Um, there's a random person that you can trade with who wants a chancy for an Aerodactyl, which is pretty cool. It's just like, what? Why are you going to give me an Aerodactyl for a chancy? Chancy is like really hard to find. For obvious reasons, it's a chancy. Uh-oh. Extreme speed. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of creepy that she's got like a little stick. Okay, let's uh, get Leviathan to level 45 as well. Leviathan's going to be good in the next gym. Nidorina. Awesome. Okay, let's head on over. Oh yeah, that's where that. I think it's her that has the. Uh... The chancy for the Aerodactyl. Uh, see, like here, we go. We gotta fight some of these. We can't avoid all of them. I should go to Rock Turtle to get myself an Onyx. Oh, is he a hiker? Yes. Which is perfect, because we just put Leviathan at the front. Well, as I said, Leviathan's going to be, like, hench in the next in the next ship. He uh, Leviathan and Gengar, actually. Because I believe Brock has both the fossils. Or might have all three fossils. Because jo Johto didn't bring any fossils into it. Which is a shame. Because I like fossil Pokemon, I think they're really cool. I didn't sort of mean to bring any fossils into it either, which is weird. I think Hawaii is known to not have that many fossils, though. I think they're the only two generations that didn't have fossils in them. It did have fossil Pokemon in it, though, I think. Sun and Moon, it just didn't have any new fossils. Awesome. <clears throat> oh, 45, excellent. And then, uh, what do we got? What do we got? Golem. <laughs> it does take a while, because what you got to do is you got to, like I said, you got to go to Lavender, you got to get the... Um, radio card for Lavender, then you got to go over to Diglett Cave, then you've got to wake up the Snorlax, then you've got to beat the Snorlax or catch the Snorlax, then you got to go to Pewter City through Diglett Cave. So it does, it does take a while to get there. I don't know who put these fences up, but they are scum, really. I mean, who puts a fence up like this? Oh, he's got a load of Pikachu. Uh, I am going to speed this up. He's got six Pikachu. So let's just get the this out of the way. We have stuff to do. Okay, we had five Pikachu. I didn't count. Okay, let's. Uh... 
So we've probably got a few trainers up here as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to avoid them as much as I can. Alright, so that takes us to... Look, uh... I will be able to speak one of these days. That takes us to Vermilion, which is where we will be going. Okay. We can get to Vermilion a different way as well. Uh, I believe it's talked to him. Ah, so you're Glyphs who solved the Powerblades problem. Thanks to you, I never lost my job. I told you, you're a real lifesaver. Please take this as my thanks. Got the expansion card? With that thing, you can tune into the radio program here in Kanto. Go ha ha ha! That's all pretty much all you can do. Like the whole of Lavender's changed because that used to be the Pokemon Tower. I think that's pretty harsh that they changed the graveyard for all these Pokemon into a radio tower. Okay, so we're gonna head this way. I believe we haven't actually been down here though, so we're probably gonna end up fighting this guy. Uh, we're gonna put Richard at the front. Oh no, we got past him. I think, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, you're probably gonna have to fight all these. Because you can't get past him. But I will. I don't like doing it, but I'm going to have to because I haven't got enough time. I want to keep it below an hour if I can. And we're already at 36 minutes. Sorry about this. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Apologize for that. We're back in Saffron. Now you could do the side quest to get the uh, ticket for the Magnet Train here. So I might initiate that whilst we're around. What you do is you, t you go into... Okay, you talk to this girl here. Hi, I heard that you lost your favorite polka doll. Please, uh, if I find it, you'll give it to the... You'll give me a rail pass? I'll go find it for you. You think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? Pardon? I shouldn't decide what you should do? But I'm really worried. What if someone finds it? And we are going down to Vermilion City, so we may as well... I bet I could just fly to Vermilion City. It doesn't really matter. And fly there, fly back. Uh, that's what fly is for. Usually helps if you get to the right place. Uh, I don't think it's that one, is it? It's down here. He talked to this guy. I love conflict, but I've never caught one, so I'm making him do with the Pokédoll that I found. Oh, I see now. The girl who lost this Pokédoll is sad. Okay, could you give this Pokédoll back to the poor little girl? I'll be friend of real Clefairy on my own one day, no worries. So before we do anything else, I'm going to go and get that rail card. Back from Saffron. Give her polka doll back. Yeah, that's Michael Ferry polka doll. See the tear where the right leg is? So none that's proof. Okay, here's the magnet train pass. I like, like I promised. I don't think that's really hers to give out. That's the pass for the Magnet Train. The real company man gave me that. The rail company went when they tore down our old house for the station. Okay, so let's head back to uh, Vermilion. I can't remember if I need cuts once I get to the other side of Uh, Diglett Cave. So we're gonna take, we're gonna take him with us just in case. 
And I can't remember how many Pokeballs have I got. I've got quite a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave Richard at the front actually. And we're gonna head over to this area here. And we have the sleeping Starlight so I'm gonna save it. And you have to go to the radio card. And turn it into the poker flute, which I thought was really clever. The poker goes placed it at the sleep with Snorlax. Snorlax woke up. Is it level? F I think it's pretty high level. Yeah, it's level 50. Which is higher than anything we've got right now. Um, so we're gonna s slash it. Which is. Did a fair amount of damage because it's got rest, so this might take a while, so I apologize for this. Because Snorlax likes to do this. <laughs> That's a crit. That's actually kind of perfect. Oh, it's got leftovers. I actually forgot it had leftovers. That's pretty cool, actually. It's got leftovers. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, we got it! First try! Nice! Yes! This Pokemon's stomach is so strong, even eating moldy or rotten food will not affect it. Okay, so we're gonna call this... Um... We're going to call it Chunk 2, because technically this is the future. So we could say Chunk after the Pokemon Omen adventure. In Kanto, my other character released Chunk back into the wild, or he did something with Chunk and he it had a baby. <laughs> um... Where's the Max repels there, right there. Alright, okay, let's head over to Pewter City. Do I need cut to get out? Yes, I do. I thought I did. Okay, we just got a random trade here. If you're walking tall grass wearing shirts, do you get nicks and cuts? I don't know. Probably. Spook catcher with what? Beedrill. Okay. So this little this little brat's got a couple of Beedrill. Like I said, I will just... I don't want to keep doing that, but I kind of have to at certain points. Um, okay, let's get... Punch Shroom back. Now that we've been here, we can always fly back to Pewter. Okay. Right, so let's get ready. We are now going to head up and face Brock. We're going to put Leviathan at the front. Leviathan and Gengar are going to be our mains in this gym, I believe. I can't... I mean, technically we can use anything with... Thunder Punch as well, but I like he's just still got one uh, trader in it. The gyms of this rock, uh, this gym, the, the, the type of this gym is the the type of this gym use rock type. The trainers in this gym use rock type of one. Bloody hell! I was <laughs> couldn't couldn't do it. Then I was just like ignored the rest of it. Awesome. It's actually kind of clear because in uh, the original. 
he had a... Uh, he did have a Sancho. I can't remember if he had Sancho in Judo or he just had Sancho. Okay, cool. I have to win these battles! Wow, it's not often that we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the computer gym leader. I'm an expert on rock type Pokemon. My Pokemon are, are impervious to most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on. Okay, he's got five Pokemon. What's he gonna start? He's gonna start with the Graveler. Awesome, let's get a... Let's get Surf on the go. Oh, really? Who's next? Omastar. Okay, this is where Gengar's gonna come in. Or Spectre. <laughs> I don't remember the animation, that's pretty random. <laughs> So I know he's got Kabutops as well. He's got Raihorn. You know what? Let's just stay in. and Kabutops. So like Brock out, out of all of them was probably... I mean they're all pretty easy to be honest because we were already set up for it. Well that's exactly what I wanted to do today. I wanted to get these three gyms done because I was supposed to get two done last episode and I didn't. And if I had done two last episode then I could have done more this episode but we did a fair amount, honestly. We got the Magnet Train Pass, we got the expansion card, we caught Snorlax. We explored some of the other cities and stuff. We got to Fuchsia, we did Celadon, and now we've done Pewter. I had to speed a little bit up here and there just to keep the time below an hour. Because we're at 48 minutes, but it's fine. Your Pokemon's powerful and attacks overcame my rock hard defense. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. Thank you, even though I'm a bit upset. That boulder badge will make your Pokemon even more powerful. Awesome! So, after three grueling gym ba badges, battles even. After three grueling gym battles, we are going to go heal up for the final time of this episode. And I am going to leave the episode off here. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Any donations are huge. Appreciate it, guys. So thank you very much for anyone who does donate. And don't forget to follow me on my social medias on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. And I'll see you all in the next episode, guys. Bye.